What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. Last week we received ColorOS 12.1 first build for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. And today we have another new update based on ColorOS 12.1. So in this video, let's quickly take a look what all changes they have done with this latest update of ColorOS 12.1 for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9, which is currently running on the latest build of ColorOS 12.1. As you can see here, this comes with 5th March 2022 security patch and if you take a look at the version it says c.61 and guys if you wish to install colorOS 12.1 on your oneplus 9 or 9 pro then I'll mention the complete guide in the description below. Make sure to follow that guide and you'll be good to go. Before starting the video, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video and we have 82% of users who watches a video but haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And now before moving ahead, let's take a look at the benchmark results. So here are the benchmark results of this latest update of ColorOS in which single course code 832 and multi course code 3374. On the previous update scores were 819 with the single core and 3229 with multi core. So slightly better benchmark results on this latest build. With Enter2 benchmark application, the latest build of ColorOS 12 have scored 7,96,604. On the previous build, scores were 7,71,577. So again, better benchmark results with Enter2 benchmark application. And at last, we also did CPU throttling test, when we did notice bit of issues with the CPU throttling. On the previous build, CPU max throttled up to 91%, but on this build, CPU max throttled up to 80%. And you can also see a huge dip in the graph. And guys, as you all know, ColorOS comes with few Chinese applications pre-installed. Some of them can be easily uninstalled by long pressing, but few of them cannot be uninstalled or disabled. So for that, we have made a video to completely debloat your Oxygen OS and your ColorOS 12. You can just follow the video which is being displayed on the screen. Using this video, you can remove all the Chinese application or any unwanted system apps. So basically, this is not a major update. Let me show you. I was already running ColorOS 12.1 on my OnePlus 9 and I received this OTA update of approximate 79 MB. If you take a look at the change logs, you can see change logs are only related to system which says improved system performance and stability. So overall on the previous build also I did not face any kind of major issues and I also used this build for few hours so there are basically no issues at all. You can use ColorOS 12.1 as a daily driver on your OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro. And now let me show you a few changes what they have done on ColorOS 12.1 compared to ColorOS 12. And first change you guys will notice soon you connect your device to PC via USB cable. So here the UI have been changed. On the previous update you can see the icons were in black and white color. But now after ColorOS 12.1 we get to see these colored icons and this pop-up is also enlarged. Also on this latest build of ColorOS 12.1. The system automatically decides when to turn on or off performance optimization. So as you can see here when I started and to do benchmark application, I got this pop-up which says performance optimization have started. This app requires a large amount of system resources to run. The performance optimization starts automatically when you open the app and stops when you exit it. So right now even I am not sure which all apps are being supported under this automatic performance optimization mode. And the last change which I noticed between ColorOS 12 and 12.1 is under notification and status bar. So here you can see a complete new UI on the latest ColorOS 12.1. We had this simple layout on previous ColorOS 12.0 but with ColorOS 12.1 as you can see we have many changes done. If you tap on more settings you get access to other stuff like reduced notification feedback, notification history and etc. So right now these were some of the changes which I was able to discover on ColorOS 12.1 compared to ColorOS 12. And if you guys want we'll do a detailed video on all the changes what they have done with the ColorOS 12. Point one. So you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want such video or not. So guys there's nothing much to show in this video. There was not much of changes done. Few improvements related to system stability. Nothing else. And if you have any kind of questions related to ColorOS 12.1 do let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.